Hi, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Today's video is a nice simple session that you can do to work on your core strength. Now when I talk about core strength, we often think of the superficial core muscles, i.e. the abdominal muscles, the obliques, those muscles that you can see a change in. When we look at someone who has a spectacular six pack, we think they have a strong core. Now they may well do, but not necessarily as a lot of our core strength actually comes from the intrinsic core, which are the muscles related to our breathing muscles. So when we work on our intrinsic core, we also create a strong respiratory system. The wonderful thing about this is working with our intrinsic core, we not only increase our respiratory system, our control over that breathing, we also help with our balance and every single movement where our body moves away from our trunk, that intrinsic core is helping to support that movement. One of the things I really enjoy about working on this intrinsic core is we can do it with our breathing practices. So you don't need to do hundreds of crunches to get a strong core, you can do it with breathing as well. So today, we will work with one breathing practice called Viloma Breath. If you're interested in this breath practice and want to go a bit deeper, um, I'll pop a link up here and you can go to some other videos on my channel that, are, um, that cover Viloma Breath. And yeah, we'll work with that and then we'll do a few more traditional looking core exercises that will work with your superficial but also your intrinsic core. So, when you're ready, if you want to pop something comfortable on and hop onto your mat. Great, so finding a comfortable seated position, you can always do this sitting on a chair if that's better for you today. We're going to practice Viloma breath. Viloma means against the grain and we'll be pausing within our breath. So for today, we're gonna to pause within the inhale and the exhale and we'll just do one pause. You can work this up to more pauses, but as I say, if you want to go into more detail, pop over to my other video on my channel. So today we'll just be pausing around halfway through the inhale and exhale. So find that comfortable position, sit up nice and tall, lower the gaze or close the eyes. And just spend a moment drawing the awareness in. In and notice how you're feeling within yourself. Let go of stresses or tensions. Give yourself permission to be fully present in this practice. Allow your awareness to come to settle on the breath. Following the flow of breath in and out of the body. We'll deepen the inhale. And lengthen the exhale. Breathing through the nose as best as you can. With each inhale, allow your center to expand. And with each exhale, let it settle back into its original position. And this is part of helping to develop that strength in the intrinsic core. We create intra-abdominal pressure so all of those internal muscles are working in harmony the way they're designed to move. And with Viloma, we're going to pause halfway through the inhale and exhale. So 
your next inhale, inhale to around halfway, it doesn't have to be exact, little pause, and then finish your inhale, exhale to around halfway, little pause, and then finish your exhale, and just continue like this. That pause doesn't need to be long. Try not to hold tension in the rest of the body as you pause. And this control over the breath helps to gently create strength in our breathing muscles. The great thing is it's a simple breath practice that you can do at any time in the day. Even if it's when you're sat on the bus to work, if you're sitting waiting for the food to cook, just spend a few moments practicing this breath. And then letting the breathing settle back into its natural rhythm. And just spend a moment noticing the effects. And then when you're ready, with your next inhale, we'll take the arms out and up. And exhale and take a gentle twist to the right. Right hand down behind, left hand on the right leg, and looking over the right shoulder. We'll inhale to come back through center. And then exhale, left hand down behind, right hand to the left leg, and looking over the left shoulder. Inhale back through center, reach those arms up. And we'll exhale, pop the right hand down to the side, left arm up and over. From here, we're just gonna lower the left hand down towards the mat, turning towards that right leg. Then the inhale, we're gonna lift the arm and open up towards the ceiling. So the exhale brings the hand down. Inhale, lift and open. So our exhale, hand down, rotating towards the leg. Inhale, lift and open. We'll just do one more on this side. Great. And then we'll come up through center, pop the left hand down to the side, right arm up and over. And we're gonna bring that right hand down, rotating down towards the left leg. And our inhale, lift and open. We exhale, rotate down. Inhale, lift and open. Exhale. And inhale. And we'll just do one more on this side. One. And we'll come back to centre. If you're sitting on blocks or blankets like I was, we'll move those out of the way. And we'll spin the feet round 
and come to tabletop position. So wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. And we're just gonna move through cat cow. Our inhale looks up, send the heart forward. The exhale rounds, belly button towards the spine. Inhale to look up. Exhale to round. And just continue like this in your own time. Move in time with your breathing rhythm. Great, we'll come to a nice neutral spine and we'll just ease the weight around the hands. So just moving in circles, working into the wrists. And we'll take those circles in the opposite direction. and then draw the weight back to center. Our weight is gonna go into the right hand and we're gonna flip the left hand over. So the palm is facing up towards you, fingers facing towards the body. And we're not pressing through that hand, our weight is into the right hand, we're just finding the stretch into the wrist. All right, then we'll pop the left hand back down, weight into the left hand, we'll flip the right hand over. The palm is up towards you, fingers facing the body. Okay. Then we'll place that hand down and we're gonna come into some tigers. Our right arm and left leg, so opposite arm to leg. With your inhale, you're stretching out. I've got a wall behind me, so I'm kicking the wall. You can stretch out as far as you can. Uh, exhale, elbow to knee round the back. So the inhale stretches out. Exhale, elbow to knee. We'll do three more on this side. Really try and stretch as far as you can. Then as you exhale and draw in, really round the back, tuck the knee in towards the body. That little tuck builds up a bit of extra strength. Last one. Wonderful, pop the hand down, pop the knee down. We'll go straight on the other side. Left arm, right leg, inhale to stretch out. Great, exhale round. Really try and tuck the knee up towards you. Three more. Fantastic, last one. Great, pop the hand down. Pop that knee down. Wonderful, we're gonna sit back to the heels. Have a bit of a stretch back either ancestral worship or child's pose with the arms down by the sides. Let the breathing settle, let the body settle. Great, so then when you're ready, we're gonna come up again to that tabletop position. So wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. And this time, we're gonna tuck the toes under and see if we can hover the knees just an inch or so off the mat. So it's not a big lift. Then see if you can tuck the tailbone a little so we're engaging those core muscles. Trying to keep the breathing nice and steady. Fab, then we'll pop the knees down, untuck the toes, maybe have a sit back to the heels, give the hands a bit of a shake. Wonderful. So we're going to come again into that tabletop position. This time we're going to tuck the toes under, hover the knees off the mat, and we're going to see if we can stretch the right foot out behind. Then draw that right knee all the way and tuck the knee in. 
that, pop the right toes down. So right knee hovering just above the mat. Stretch the left foot out behind. Draw the left knee in, hug the left knee in towards you. Great, pop the left toes down. Pop the knees down again, sit back. Give the wrists a bit of a wriggle. Wonderful. Get my microphone to stay in place. <laughs> And we're just going to do that one more time. So come into tabletop, tuck your toes, hover the knees off the mat, stretch the right foot out behind, try and keep that left knee low. Draw the knee and squeeze the knee in towards you, pop the, the right toes down, stretch the left foot out, keep that right knee low, draw the left knee in, well done, pop the knee down. Up. Untuck the toes, sit back, ancestral worship or child's pose. Great, so then from here we're going to come up into downward facing dog. So draw your weight forwards towards the hands, tuck the toes under and send the hips up and back, down dog. Feel free to give the heels a bit of a walk, shake the head, nod the head, ease into your down dog. When you feel good, we're going to send the right leg up into the air. So it doesn't have to go particularly high, but try and lengthen through that leg. Then with an inhale, we're going to draw the knee in, bring the weight towards the hands and really try and squeeze that knee up towards the body, round the back a little, press up away from the mat. Then if you can, step that foot through between the hands. So you can always wriggle the foot forward, you could pop the knees down and step forward. We're going to turn the back foot out, windmill the arms up, coming up into warrior two. So we're bending into the right knee, straightening through the left, and looking over that right hand. We'll move through reverse warrior to lower the left hand to the left leg, right arm up and over. Now you can stay like this, or if you like, you could wrap that left arm around the back of the waist. So you're working a little bit more through that core and through your psoas to hold yourself up instead of relying on the hand. We'll come back through warrior two. Great. Then arms coming up, palms facing. We're going to lengthen up through the upper body. And then we're going to reach towards the top of the mat. So we're coming into extended side angle, but with the arms lifted. Now you'll instantly feel yourself working all the way up through the side of the body, trying to keep those arms in line with the ears. Take a couple more breaths here. Well done. Great, then we'll come all the way up through center, hands down to prayer, lift the back heel, pivot on the back foot, hands down to frame the front foot, and step back, down dog. Take a moment, down dog. Ease if you want to, hold still if you want to. And when you feel ready, left leg going up into the air. Again, try and lengthen through that leg. Then we'll inhale, draw that knee in, bring the weight forward, squeeze the knee up towards the body. Then step the foot through between the hands. Great. We're pivoting on that back foot, turn the back foot to face the long edge of the mat. And windmill the arms up. Warrior one. Warrior one, sorry, warrior two. Try again. Lovely. We're going to come into reverse warrior. So either lower the hand onto the right leg or wrap the right arm around the back of the waist. Bring the left arm up and over. We'll come back through warrior two. Hands coming up, palms facing. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, reach towards the top of the mat. Arms in line with the ears. Try and keep the body open to the side. So that left shoulder, no, right shoulder, sorry, is lifted. Well done. Inhale back to center. Hands down to prayer in front of the heart. 
lift the back heel, pivot on those back toes, hands down, step back, downward facing dog. We'll lift the gaze towards the top of the mat, step or walk the feet forward, coming to Uttanasana, our standing forward fold. We're going to bend into the knees and bring ourselves down to sitting. So you could always pop the hands down behind, or you could see if you can sit yourself down without using the hands. Wonderful. We're going to come into boat pose. Wouldn't be working on the core without doing a little bit of Navasana. <clears throat> so, boat pose, Navasana. We want to find our sit bones, sitting up nice and tall. And we'll start by holding on around the back of the legs. Walk the feet in towards you until you find that hover point, but keep lengthening up. So there's a little tilt back, but we try not to drop down into it so we want to still lengthen through the spine lift the feet shins may be parallel to the mat if that feels okay maybe release the hands and reach the hands towards the feet nice steady breathing keep lifting the chest think about the heart heading up towards the ceiling brilliant then we're going to pop the feet down have a little rest down over the legs Next, we're going to do a little low boat to high boat. So you have a few options with this. One option is to still hold on around the back of the thighs. You can lengthen out as long as the arms and then draw the knees in, lengthening it up. So you just lengthen out as long as the arms and then draw in. The other option, hands stretched towards the feet. You're going to keep the chin tucked in, lengthen out a little way and then draw in, bringing the knees back in towards the body. So that's just lengthening out, chin tucked in, and then drawing everything back in. The last option, chin tucked in, stretching all the way out. And then if you can, all the way back in, bringing the legs up, maybe straight, maybe with a bend in the knees. So when you're ready, we're gonna do five of those. So lengthening out, however's best. And then draw everything in. Great, so we're stretching out. And then drawing everything in. Three more. And draw everything in. Well done. Last two. Last one. Well done. Pop the feet down. Have a little rest down over the legs. From here, we're just going to come down to lying on our backs. So you've done all of your core work. We'll just have a little stretch out and a lie down now. So great work. Hopefully you felt some of that. So we'll come to lying on the mat. Feet hip distance apart. We'll just come into bridge to stretch out through the front of the body. So push through the feet. Lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Hands could be down by the sides, or you could interlace the fingers behind the back, pressing up through the hips, maybe shuffling a little higher onto the shoulders. Find that length all the way through the front of the body. Great. Then we'll release the fingers, rolling all the way down. Take the arms out at shoulder height, palms facing down. And we'll just exhale and let the knees roll down to the right. Maybe turning the head over the left shoulder and let the body settle into the twist. Now 
Notice your breathing, slow and steady. And then we'll inhale, knees back through center. And exhale, knees over to the left. Turning the head over the right shoulder. Draw the knees back to centre, give the knees a little hug in, giving the spine a bit of a rock. And then we'll stretch the legs away, come into lie in Shavasana. So lie however is most comfortable, if that's the legs stretched away and arms out to the sides, go with that, if it feels better to bend the knees. Have the knees a little bit wider than hip distance and let the knees roll in to support each other. It can sometimes feel quite nice, particularly after doing some work on the core, to come into a reclining cobbler. So soles of the feet together and let the knees roll out. Hands can rest wherever you like. And just take a moment and let the eyes close. See if you can recall how you felt at the beginning of the practice. And be aware of any changes. No judgment or expectation. Try not to analyze. Just awareness. Let the awareness come to settle on the breath. And follow the flow of breath in and out of the body. Deepen the inhale, lengthen the exhale. Whenever the mind wanders or you get distracted, as will naturally happen, just acknowledge it and then bring the awareness back to the breath. if you have time, I recommend staying here in meditation for a little while longer. But if that's all you have time for today, we'll bring ourselves back around, finding a bit of movement again in the body. Maybe taking a stretch. And draw the knees in. Give the spine a bit of a rock. And then rock 
walking, either up to sitting or rocking to one side to come up. Wonderful. <clears throat> so I hope you enjoyed that practice. It's just a short one, um, so it's quite an easy one to fit in. And uh, hopefully a few of those exercises you can add into other parts of your practice um, or do this full practice regularly. And I'm sure you will see differences in how you feel much stronger in your core. So thank you for joining me. Please do subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know how you got on. I really appreciate that. And I'll see you here again soon. Om Shanti.